This is a follow-up to my video I made earlier about this Channel Plus. It's a Channel Plus video distribution system. And to summarize, it has two composite video inputs and you can select what channel to modulate on. It's got three outputs that um, will go for distant TVs, so it actually has a amplifier, signal amplifier. This is for a local TV, I won't be using these in and out. And it also has an input for an existing analog cable or antenna. So I decided to hook this up inside my home. And previously, now let's take a look here, I have, uh, let's start here, I have an antenna up in the attic and that came around, went into this amplifier, and then went over here to the splitter. So what I've changed is I've just run it directly into here, and then I'm using this as a, I guess a second amplifier in the chain, slash splitter. I only have two TVs hooked up in the house right now, I only have three in total, so all these extra connections just leave for now. But what's nice about this is I can inject two analog channels and as long as I make sure that they don't interfere, they're not on the same frequency as a UHF channel, uh, like a DTV UHF channel over the air, then I can, they'll sort of insert it. I guess this has like a, uh, uh, like a notch filter or a reverse notch filter or whatever that will shift depending on what frequencies these are injected on because it passes through all the other uh, signals. Or I might just pass everything through and then just slap this on top, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I have a Raspberry Pi hooked up in this mess. This is all just temporary right now. And I'll show you this in a bit, but this is my 24-7 Simpsons network. Seasons 1 through 10, as soon as it boots up, it just starts shuffling and randomly playing episodes of The Simpsons. And then it goes up into this input here and runs on channel 46. And I did also find that uh, on my bench, oh, that's a little loose. On my bench, I ran this down and it can run, it ran down to like seven volts. It's, it says 15 at 300 milliamps. It'll run down to like seven volts and it won't draw any more current. It just looks like this booster or amplifier gets weaker and then the signal will get weaker. But at 12 volts, it works great which helped a lot because I got a lot of 12 volt adapters. I don't have any 15 volt standalone adapters. But anyway, let's go see what this looks like on a TV. This is a uh, standard def TV, so it doesn't have a digital tuner. And uh, this is the channel without anything on it right now. And here's channel 46 with my 24 seven Simpsons network. She told me she was washing her hair tonight. Oh, I'm so desperately lonely. It's nice because uh, it's like the old days except without commercials. Sometimes having to select what episode I watch, I just want to sit down for 20 minutes or however long and just watch something. Mindless, random, that I've seen before. And this fits the bill perfectly. So the difference is this is a flat screen with a uh, digital ATSC tuner in it. So I can, oh, this remote is really crappy. I can go through and I can pick up all the uh, digital stations in HD. Let me grab a better remote. And they're not interfered with. They're coming in clear. Well, as clear as they were before. Some of these are pretty weak. But uh, the booster seems to be doing a pretty good job. And then there's my analog channel. And the picture quality is absolutely stunning on here. This looks the same as if I was watching this standard def episode on my computer hooked up with HDMI. Like there doesn't, this TV, either it's using a lot of noise reduction or it has a very strong, excellent tuner. I used a Raspberry Pi the first generation, the B model. I think it had more memory on it or something. 
but yeah, I'm using, I've got two original Bs. I've got a Pi 3 as well, but that, you don't really need that much power for this. I'm running Libre Elec, which is a, a Linux distro, just a really pared down Linux distro with Kodi built in. And then I just added uh, a USB stick, however, lo however large you need to fit all your, your video files and uh, plug that on here, power. When you're first configuring it, you'll want to hook it up to the network. Uh, these models don't have Wi-Fi, so even, even on the Pi 3, Wi-Fi tends to, for me anyway, I'm having power problems on it. I think there's like a current sensor, voltage sensor on it or something that freaks out when you have the Wi-Fi on. So uh, wired is, is easy enough. Once you're done, you don't need to connect it to the network unless you're going to configure anything. In fact, I'd probably recommend leaving it disconnected just in case there's any security holes or flaws that get discovered later on and this is sitting here unpatched. It's probably best to leave it disconnected. And then um, whatever you need to adapt the three and a half jack to uh, RCAs and then your uh, composite video output. When you install LibreELEC, you need to go in to the config file. I can show you later to enable the uh, composite video output by default it's it's HDMI only and uh, there's a autoexec.py file just a small you can write a little I guess I'll call them Python command it's commands to control Kodi that'll uh, execute on startup and it was just three lines of code I'm gonna add a fourth for the volume control because I think the volume is turned down a little bit on that other one I notice it's a little quiet but yeah, it's very simple. Here is the autoexec.py. Uh, I was just uh, tunneling in with putty and then pasting, uh, uh, going into the nano text editor and you can just paste this in, but I was formatting it and getting it started over here. I saw this posted online. Uh, the only difference is instead of random, it's he had random on and that wasn't shuffling correctly. So at least from my experience, random is what you want to use. Uh, that, so that sets it to random. Next one, Play Media. Uh, Bert is the name of my USB stick. Simpsons is the folder, and they're all um, collapsed into one folder, no subfolders. Uh, player control repeat. It's just if it gets to the end, it'll continue on. Just on a form, I found uh, SDTV underscore aspect equals. One is NTSC, two is PAL, so I set mine to NTSC. Just put that near the end of your uh, config.txt file. And that's stored under the flash folder for LibreELEC. And that's it.